Today we are in Darlingbourg for yet another weekend of racing. It is yet another late video. All the fastest streamliners are here. So it's this promises to be a very fast event. Slash in the bin of streamliner will be the overwhelming favorite. Jan Perry is racing in a DF Velomobile that looks like it has been in a war zone. At least he won't be scared of having a tumble and scratching the paint. Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner will attempt to beat or at least get close to the fastest streamliners. He'll certainly be able to say he was faster than the Bino Streamliner here. Not sure he will be successful once the Bino starts to move. Sean Tan on the Chimera bike will be a competitor in the unfair classification. The leader of the unfair classification is not here today, so it may be easier to grab the championship points. The first race is a one lap time trial. It is not a standing start as the clock only starts when we reach the tent, so there is plenty of time to clip into the pedals. The strike parts are really fast. Here I'm going at more than 56 km per hour. The track is a big triangle. The annoying bit is the tight corner, especially as the track is wet. The speed is lower in the second part of the track, as the wind is slowing me down, even though it is a slight downhill. I don't try to take the last corner too fast, as the track is wet. The last straight is a slight uphill. The lap gets harder and harder. Somehow I will get the sixth place in this race. One second behind. Jan Perry in his war turn velomobile. Liam Goodman somehow wins it ahead of Slash. Now is the time for the second race. 40 minutes plus one lap. Oh my gosh! Gemma is colliding with her father. Hopefully they are all fine. Unfazed by the incident, I'm making my way to the front of the field. The three fast streamliners are ahead of me, behind Lee Wexfield in the snug velomobile. The strike section is very favorable for velomobiles. Somehow, Barney Hall on his Raptor bike is overtaking me. I'm overtaking him back. Tim McDonald, his Milan SL Velomobile has caught up with me, but I am not going to get beaten so easily. I'm accelerating again. Then I slow down more than expected before the turn, as he forces me to the outside of the turn. I let him pass as I will lose if we collide. No, I'm accelerating to catch up with him. It is a slight uphill that should reduce his Velomobile advantage. I'm overtaking him back. Tim McDonald, his Milan Hansel Velomobile is catching up with me again. We are going against a strong wind. Jan Perry, in his war turn, Velomobile is overtaking me as well. I'm lapping Gemma Fowey, who fell off at the start. Derek Tudor, in his yellow donkey streamliner, is overtaking me. It is hard to push against the winds. It is where the streamliners and velomobiles have a big advantage. I'm lapping Andy Heaver on his own cycle, and Sheriff Harding on his own cycle as well. As well as James Eberwhite, who was involved in the collisions at the start. Now it is more or less like a time trial, as I am too slow to catch up with the Velomobiles and Streamliners ahead, and the guys behind are too slow to catch up with me. Joen, father on his M5 Loacer, is not racing today, so he will not be catching up with me as he usually does. Here I'm lapping Don Shackley in his Alpha 9 Velomobile. I still need to maintain a good pace, otherwise people like Andrew Sidwell on his Rapt Racer will catch up with me. I'm 
being lapped by slash in the Bino Streamliner. Russell Bridge in the Snoopy Streamliner and Liam Goodman in the Nosso Streamliner as battling for the second place. Lee Wexfield in the Snoop Velomobile is in fourth place. I'm lapping Colin Waite on his raw slow bike. And I'm lapping Nigel C on his Fujin low racer. Next are Barley Harl and Sean Pallister on low racers. I'm lapping James Ebelwhite again. Now I'm lapping Lloyd Talbot on his speed rust bike. And Andy Ever on his uncycle. And here I'm lapping Gemma Foray once again. It must be tough to ride her bike. The soft fairing combined with the windy conditions don't make for an easy ride. Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner and Liam Goodman in the Nostro Streamliner are still battling for the second place. I am being lapped yet again by Lee Wexfield in the Snug Velomobile. It has stopped raining. So the end of the races should feel less challenging. My camera is going to run out of battery, but in the end, I will be in 8th place, behind 4 streamliners and 3 Velomobiles. Slash will win the race, Liam Goodman in the Norso Streamliner will be in 2nd place, Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner will be in 3rd place. Now is the time for the 3rd race. I am having a good start. Slash in the Bino Streamliner is right behind me. And I am in third place behind Lee Wexfield in the Snug Velmobile. And I am Goodman in the North Shore Streamliner. Slash is overtaking me as we are going through the zigzag section. I'm not taking too much speed as I don't like the upcoming turn. Russell Bridge in the Snoopy Streamliner is on my tail. He's overtaking me right before the turn. And now I have Derek Twiddle in his Yellow Donkey Streamliner on my tail. Now we are in the straight section. I can unleash my power without being impeded. I am coming back at Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner. I am overtaking Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner. I'm not actually sure how I managed to go so fast as there is a slight uphill. Now I've got Russell Bridge in his newbie streamliner on my tail. That's going to be hard to hold him back. Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner is overtaking me back. From that point on, nobody will overtake me. So I will take the fifth place behind Russell Bridge in his Snoopy Streamliner. Slash in the Bino Streamliner will win the race. More than one minute ahead of Liam Goodman in the Not So Streamliner. Lee Wexfield in the Snug Velmobile will be in third place. 
unfortunately, I don't have any video for the next day. The scenario will be pretty similar, with the streamliners dominating the race. The next video will be in Dill, where the World Championship will take place this year. So stay tuned!